1979, Coach Wayne Harden and the Temple Owls won the Garden State Bowl. This remains the university's only bowl victory. So far, that is. Fast forward to 2010. The Owls have clinched their second straight bowl game and possess a talent-laden roster packed with young stars. But which team is the best football team Temple's ever had? Many casual fans think prior to the Owl Golden Hour, the Temple football team was always putrid. But was that really the case? Of course not. In the 70s, the Owls went 80-52-3 under Coach Harden. In the 79 season, they were ranked 17th in the nation and defeated Cal in the Garden State Bowl 28-17. You know, the media used to refer to the Wayne Harden offense as the smorgasbord of offenses because he had pretty much just about everything that you could do. Many fans are also unaware of how close the 79 team was to going undefeated. They went 10-2 that season, with their only losses coming from Penn State and number one Pitt, led by a freshman named Dan Marino. We did exceptionally well against Pittsburgh, uh, you know, losing in the final seconds of that game, 10-9, uh, so it was unfortunate. Um, we did have an, an opportunity to win the game earlier in the first quarter, if uh, actually if I would made a field goal that I had missed in the first quarter. When asked to compare the two teams, Ron remained mostly neutral, but gave his reasoning as to why the 79 team has an advantage. To try to compare the 79 team to the 2010 team, I don't think that you can really do it uh, only because of, you know, the, uh, the schedule. You know, they, you know, Temple right now being in the MAC, we, just, we don't play the same caliber of teams that we played back in 1979. And when Ron was asked who he would choose between the Harden era and the Golden era, here's what he had to say. Brian Brumell. I would take Brian Brumell. Take Brian. Wayne Hart. I would take Mark Bright and Mike Duffy. I'd take Brandon McMahon. I'd take, take Brandon McMahon as well myself. Here at Al Sports, we've crunched the numbers, and we've decided that if these two teams met on the field today, the 79 Owls would squeeze past this year's squad 20-17. to 17. Reporting for Al Sports, I'm Dennis Baker.